Welcome to Arc Tutorials. This is a brand new series on our channel, React Tutorial for Absolute Beginner. I'll be covering everything that you need to learn React, to master React, and to start building your own projects. We will be building the projects together on this particular playlist. I'll cover everything that you need from scratch to advanced, including all the things that comes into between React, JSX, Components, Router, and much, much more. But before that, there are a few things that you need to learn and there are a few things that you need to know. I know that a lot of you have already written to me asking me to create this playlist. I'm sorry that I'm late, but I'm here for you. Without wasting any time, let's get started. This is part one of the series. Today we will not do any coding. Today we will talk about the introduction. We will learn about what is React, what are some of the features and all. But from next episode onwards, we will start coding. All right. It's important to know uh, basics of React before we even start coding. So here we are. Let's talk about the React introduction. React is an open source JavaScript library used for building user interfaces, particularly for single page applications and mobile applications. Now, there are this, this particular line is very, very important to understand. React is an open source JavaScript library, right? Now, we all know or have worked in JavaScript at some point, but if you're trying to cross learn some framework, let's say from Angular, Angular is all written in TypeScript, right? So the way we write is TypeScript, but here React is purely a pure play JavaScript. Okay, so if you already know JavaScript, that's well and good. If not, I have started series on my channel, so you can follow that. Second thing. React allows developers to create reusable UI components, right? <clears throat> now, when you're working in an enterprise setup or especially a big or small projects, you will work with multiple team members, which means you will not build an entire page on your own. You would build a small pieces of the page and you will stitch them together to make a bigger page. Those small, comp those small pieces of the page are called UI components. I'm going to cover everything. So even if you don't follow a few things today, it's fine. Just read through, understand the basics, and we'll start coding in the next episode. React follows a declarative programming paradigm, which means we will, we will describe the desired UI state, and React will take care of updating the actual UI to match that state. Okay, we'll talk about state management. We will learn about Redux and much, much more as we progress. But today, understand that React follows a declarative programming paradigm. Now, using since React uses this particular declarative programming paradigm, it simplifies the process of building complex UIs by extracting manu manipulation of the DOM. React encourages creation of modular components which means each component is responsible for a specific part of the UI. Okay, this component based architecture promotes reusability, maintainability and scalability of code. When you talk about React, so the takeaway from this slide is that React is an open source JavaScript library. It's used for building enterprise projects or <coughs> single page applications and mobile applications. It allows developers to create smaller reusable UI comp components. I don't mean by saying that simple small doesn't mean it can't be complicated. It can be like if you're building a banking project or a credit card, which is what we will be building. <coughs> All right. So React is widely adopted in the industry with a strong community of developers and companies. There is a lot of demand in market. There is a lot of career growth options if you're working on React. React is actively maintained by Facebook and the community, which means it's stable, it's reliable, it's here for the long term. While React simplifies some of the UI development, there is a learning curve, especially the new concepts like uh, component-based architecture, JSX, etc. I will make it easy for you. All right, as you know, I will not spend much time in theory and those things. We will do a lot of practical examples and hands-on exercises we will try and build a credit card portal using this particular react application i am super excited i'm sure you too if you are excited for this series please do hit that like button for me to encourage me and to support me 
thank you in the next episode we will start coding we'll start with installation and setup and bang on let's build react playlist thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode